Hi guys, Stan here from Dance Tech. Today's video guys, we're going to be having a look at the Thermalrite Legrand Macho RT. Now before I mention this colour, um, back in 2015 Thermalrite did release a colour that looks very very similar to this, without the fan and also with one additional copper heat pipe, so in total it would have had 8 heat pipes. That thing, totally passive, didn't include a fan and overall did very very well from me kind of testing out, well, not testing, sorry, uh, me reading some reviews and also checking out some benchmarks online. Now this year, I think I might have, have, have sent this um, <clears throat> cool over, this is the Legrand Macho RT. As I mentioned, this has one less heat pipe than the passive version, but it does come with a 140 millimeter fan to keep it cool. Um, I do know the fan range is between 300 to, is it 1200 or 1300 RPM? So in general, it should be a very, very quiet fan and at idle as well should be extremely quiet with it allowing to go all the way down to 300 rpm anyway without further ado guys we're going to check out this cooler we're going to go over an overview of the cooler as always and then go over the performance on my i7 4790k anyhow let's jump into it to get started as always i saw a quick unboxing inside the box so presented with the accessory box on top with a white 140 millimeter fan a full size screwdriver and the cooler itself the accessory box provided contains all the needed mounting hardware needed for installation including a solid metal backplate and two other metal pieces in addition you also get various screws washers and nuts in addition to the other little pieces also included is chill factor free thermal compound only one gram of it however will do more than a couple applications the screwdriver provided is relatively large and is slightly magnetised. This will come in handy if you had to drop any screws onto your motherboard. Quite surprised to see a full size screwdriver included. Noctua and Cryorig both provide screwdrivers with air coolers but not to this extent. You do of course also get an instruction manual which is overall well written. On to an overview of the cooler, the heatsink's dimensions are 150 by 125 mm with the height being 159 mm. The weight of the cooler with the fan attached is 1.06 kg, making this cooler quite heavy indeed. The cooler features many aluminium fins, of which the top fin is black. The fins in general are quite loosely packed together. This may improve performance at lower RPMs and hence this cooler is meant to be relatively quiet. The cooler comes with a whopping 7 6mm copper heat pipes and a very shiny base plate. This will make removing thermal compound very easy in the future. The base is offset greatly to offer very good compatibility with RAM and MOSFET heatsinks on many motherboards, including socket LGA 2011 from Intel. As for the fan, this is one of Thermalrite's own custom TY147 fans featuring 7 white blades. The RPM range is rated between a very low 300 to 1300 RPM with noise levels rated between 14 and 20 decibels. The connector type is 4 pin PWM and also is sleeved, a nice addition. Moving on to the installation, as the rundown, to get started you want to prep the backplate by placing 4 screws through the appropriate holes, then placing the non-conductive film on top. After you've done this, you can then push the washers on top of the screws. As you're installing this onto your motherboard, you want to place the backplate under your board and then screw 4 nuts onto the screws by hand. After this, you want to flip the motherboard upside down, then to screw them down tightly with the provided screwdriver. After you've done this, you can then place the silver anchoring mount on top of the nuts and screw that down with the four additional screws. The last step is to apply thermal compound and to place the cooler on top of the CPU, securing it in place with the mounting plate and the two last screws. Do note that I used Arctic MX4 thermal compound as I've used this for the past three years. Finally on to performance, testing this cooler on my i7-4790K with all cores locked up 4.4GHz with the automatic vaulted set, simply for extra heat purposes. The Legrand Macho RT was able to keep the CPU running at 69 degrees Celsius, speeding out more expensive coolers in the chart like the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3. This was while running, of course, my usual benchmark of rendering out the pretty intensive 2016 How to Build a Gaming PC Guide in Adobe Premiere CS6. Overall, this cooler did a fantastic job at keeping the i7-4790K cool and does justify the highly competitive retail price of around 65 euros or 50 UK pounds when you do take in consideration the small amount of noise this cooler makes while under load. Anyhow, let's roll the outro and conclude on the Legrand Macho RT CPU cooler from Thermalrite. So guys, there we are, that was my review of the Thermalrite Legrand Macho RT. Now from testing this cooler myself, um, in general it's a very very good performing cooler. Now although not the best for the price, you could remember this thing is extremely quiet. I was quite surprised at how quiet this is considering it does only sport the 100, uh, yeah, the one 140mm fan. Now while under load I'm suspecting this fan is somewhere between like the 700 to 800 RPM range because it is very very quiet. Of course it does get the tiniest bit louder when you do run, run the benchmark, you know, versus say uh, just typing up say documents but it's it's very very quiet and um, I think it's even quieter than the Noctua NHD 15 which is uh, you know renowned for fantastic performance and noise levels but I think this one's a little bit quieter actually which is yeah it's unbelievable now that coolers are just really really quiet and I, I can kind of see why this cooler with, with an additional heat pipe is possible to run on a system without a fan so yeah 
quite impressive. Them seven heat packs must definitely work. Well, on this one, I should say the eight on the passive version. Anyway, guys, uh, without further ado, I would, would recommend this product. It's very, very good value for money when you consider the noise that this cooler makes and also the performance, which is, to be honest, very, very good for the money. Um, so, yeah. Would recommend it and uh, yeah if you guys are thinking of picking this up we'll include amazon us and uk links and all other kind of links uh, related to the product in the description and yeah, without further ado guys thank you very much for watching and yeah i'll see you in the next video goodbye